20. Liv. Jubilejni 20. Ljubljanski mednarodni filmski festival. Od srede 11. do nedelje 22. novembra. Kedi, and can we ask you what's your role in Martin's life? Absolutely. Um, when I first saw the, um, the film, I was, I was so moved uh, on many different levels. And then as I met Martin and I spent more time with him and got to know him more, I had such passion of what the messages, numerous messages in this film were that basically I changed the direction of my life uh, to be able to assist Martin in any way possible to be able to get his message out to the world. And that's what we're doing right now. Um, we're taking the um, popularity of the film, which is happening worldwide, and it's wonderful to have popularity with the film. However, if we don't utilize that popularity into a very focused goal, then it's just popularity. And so we're working on that uh, on different levels. Number one, to raise awareness of the preservation of the rainforest and how important that is. And uh, what I have found is, is so many of us, many people around the world, uh, we, we're caught up in our own lives, you know, we have our own problems, and we think, well, the rainforest is not important. And the rainforest is important to all of us. And if anyone checked into that, they would understand that it provides a large percentage of the oxygen to the entire world. There's, there's so many other things. This would be very long if I went on all the, all the areas. Um, my profession is naturopathic medicine. And so obviously that's very important to me also is raising awareness of the numerous plants that reside within the rainforest and what we can do with them from a natural standpoint. And we're doing that. Um, one of the other areas that's near and dear to my heart, when I saw the film uh, originally, and then as I've, I've gotten to know Martin more about the, the, the abuse that he had at one period of time in his life. And uh, a lot of people experience abuse of one form or another whether it be physical abuse, uh, mental abuse, there's a lot of different types of abuses. And one of the, the areas that moved me so much with this film with Martin and, and what, he, what he does with it is instead of taking something that is perceived to be a negative and have it ruin his life, he chose to take another course of direction with that. And I think that's spectacular. And People, people so often call Martin, and it's in the film saying a simple man, and oh my, oh my goodness, that is so far from the truth. I mean, his heart, yes, he's from Slovenia, and he's, he's a lot of times in the mountain and in nature, and from that standpoint, simplicity. But it's actually simplicity that is, is the most difficult thing to achieve in life. And if people would just look at the cause between, excuse me, behind all of his swims. It's absolutely phenomenal. Um, I was very touched on another level, and that's being an American. And when I found out that after our attacks that happened at 9-11, that, you know, here is someone from another country, a country that a lot of Americans aren't familiar with, I'm sorry to say. I, I think this film and what Martin has done is going to change that, though. And I was so touched that someone from another country took the time to get on a plane, fly to America, put his life and his health in danger, and do what he did swimming the Mississippi. And, and he did that to be able to, in his mind, hopefully touch the hearts and uplift the Americans through the tragedy that we went through. And if you look at his reasons behind his other swims, like I'll uh, just mention one more, like the Yangtze River, one of the most polluted rivers in the world. It's not a simple mind to think, well, if I do this, it's going to raise awareness throughout the world and hopefully put some pressure on in the right areas where maybe something can be done about this river. So this is not at all a simple man. I would like to ask, 
this in itself, swimming the Amazon River, Yangtze, Mississippi, and it's an achievement that stands for itself. It doesn't need to be um, conquered or done something bigger than that. But still, do you have another goal of swimming or you just see yourself as a teacher now, as a speaker? There's a lot to do after this. <laughs> it was maybe too many swims now, till now. And uh, now it's time to promote this. I'm a motivationist, maker, maker now, but film has very big power. Now it's important global warming. I like connection with people to introduce Amazon rainforest to explain what does it mean this, why we need, what's it, what, why is this precious part of the world so important. Amazon is a little secret and most of the people don't understand this. My answer is just simple. If we destroy this precious part of the world, we will destroy it ourselves. It's still time, but maybe it could be very soon too late. And for the end, may I ask just one last question. When you were swimming, what did you think about? Or maybe the solution was that you didn't think at all. You just swam. What, what, what was that? We all want to know. <laughs> this is a very good question. But it was very important moment for me when I swam this river. Not, not just Amazon. Amazon a little more. Because Amazon is really very dangerous below the water. And every stroke could be maybe the last. And if you know this, if you understand this, this is for your mind a terrible situation. It's easy to be in the boat, even though you are around crocodiles, snakes, tropical diseases like this. But you are, you are in the water. Amazon River is most dangerous river in the world, below the water. You have crocodiles in Africa, snakes too. Dangerous indigenous tribes, not below the water. And if you know this, if you understand, Amazon destroyed my mind pretty hard. I'm ready to swim now again, but I'm not ready with my mind. If my mind is not strong. Here is power, not here. Here is power. And there's a lot to do tomorrow. But when I swim, I was thinking about everything. There was many feelings in my head. How to forget about animals below me. That was risk for me. 50-50. It was everywhere in the world, this guy will die. Maybe first day, maybe next day. It didn't happen. I very disappointed my American team. Still alive. I don't know why. Somebody helped me maybe. To go tomorrow again in water like Amazon, it's question why. Well, you sure have a huge task in front of you. Uh, thank you very much for this wonderful movie. We wish you both all the best in promoting it and thank you again. Thank you very much. <laughs>